extends their lead by two more. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Cameron Batson now from his end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive as they take over with just 17 seconds left before the break. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Second down, they go again with Henry. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Titans going to get the ball to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back to it on EA Sports. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Back to throw, Tannehill. Guys, man, that's the pro bowler Julio Jones. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. To throw is Tannehill. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller. Oh, yeah, oh, and yeah. he will bring this one back. It is a pick six for the Washington touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. The defense more than did its job. Now the offense is summoned onto the field as he'll go for two. Now back to throw, and he's got it. So the try for two successful, and that bumps their lead up even further. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Cameron Batson now from his end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And fresh off the pick six, they've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball... He's got to be like what we talk about with defensive bats who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount. Here's his opportunity. It all comes back to those defensive backs for the formal D, former DB, right? I, I don't know where that comes from. It just kind of emerges out of me for some it's reason. It's deep in there, right? <laughs> no gain on the play there. Second down. They'll run it again with Henry. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. A good pick up there, a 22 in Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Now a play fake, and it's Tannehill. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Open man, Julio. Touchdown, Tennessee. Julio Jones. 37 yards. And the Titans are able to cut into that deficit. And that is off the left upright. It's no good. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. 
Here's Carter now on the return. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Gibson again. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. A CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning upfield, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. On first and ten, it's Gibson. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 48 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. They'll run on first down. Gibson. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game.